most used part of the building. This door number one. Now it's crack corn because we're using it in the thousands of thousands of pounds of it uh, every day. We are using yeast. Now, y'all, y'all, y'all are the ones that went to Jack Daniels. Did they let you touch the yeast? Did they let you look at it? Did they let you smell it? <laughs> Most distilleries in the world are very secretive about their strain of yeast. Jack Daniels makes their own. Um, now, I I know everything there is about Old Smoky, but I don't want to know where this comes from or if we make it or whatever. I don't want to know any of that. That's the secret secret. That's for those boys over there to know that this is worth killing me over, okay? I don't want to do it because if you knew where we got that or if we made it our own or if you could steal it, uh, you can make all this easily. Now, yeast. Uh, what this yeast does is when you add it to mash, it's breaking down the sugars, creating the alcohol, and it's creating a heat source and carbon dioxide. But I like for people to smell it. It's very, um, you guys can pull down your masks. I'll let you pass that over. This is what an empty fermenter looks like. This is a hillbilly hot tub down here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now the coil that you see going down and around, this allows us to have cold water transfer all the way around. And if it gets too hot, the fermentation, it gets too hot, it will allow that cold water just to keep the sparks you know, going around in circles until the whole mash cools down a little bit. Now, what we have here, this is 100% corn, this is the white lightning, this is the blue flame. The yeast is breaking down the sugar. It's creating your carbon dioxide. It's creating your heat. It's creating your alcohol. In here. Now the yeast can get overreactive and heat up even further, ruin your whole batch. That's why we have the coils to cool it down. Isn't that cool though? I am not your mom. Go ahead and suffer. <laughs> oh my God, I offended you. Do you need a straw? <laughs> <laughs> my God. Yes. It is. <laughs> you got those fumes out of the way. It is not bad. Not bad, guys. It is really not bad. I disagree. <laughs> What we're doing is we're taking the same component off of the Sour Patch Kid, malic acid, right? That's the that sugary stuff on the t that coats it. We're infusing it into our moonshine. And we created a masterpiece. You guys go ahead and take this shot. You're going to really like this. Mm -hmm. You like that? <laughs> it's like liquid Benadryl for them. Yeah. Uh, this is my last There you are. Oh, man. Warhead. It is a warhead. I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. Oh, good. It's like a sour peach gummy o ring. This color? Looks like a Gotta keep things natural, you know? I hate to ruin the tradition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? 
Apple no, martinis, no. slushies, no. all of them right here. What I do is I take a watermelon, cut off the top, pour a whole jar in. That's a wine punch. That's not a wine punch. It's kind of like a hint of a wine punch in it. Let's say that you have a friend that absolutely hates alcohol, like hates the taste of it. This right here, they're going to like it. It's smooth, it tastes like juice. Very, very smooth, it's like a redneck wine. This is another one that's dangerous. Your grandma would get drunk on this on accident. <laughs> that's how good this one is. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. I mean, we've been putting tequila down there for a long time. Why are we doing that? Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. Oh, it does. It smells like It's like pumpkin pie. My favorite thing to do Oh, no, it's dangerous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like the joke on Thanksgiving, I literally was cooking and drinking after this at the same time, which was funny. It's like you know, liquid pumpkin pie with alcohol in it. Literally. <laughs> I, I love this flavor, ginger ale. This has some ginger ale. It smells like apple. Yeah, ginger ale. When's the last time you ever had a cocktail with ginger ale? Well, I mean, I do, but I don't. I, I never thought about it. Yeah, I don't think I've had ginger ale. No, ginger ale. Yeah. Ginger ale it's... <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> yeah, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just two blocks up and down on the right. Yeah, you can go down there and try all 15 flavors down there. Well, don't. I just, yeah. I wouldn't take a measuring cup, just pouring the blender and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so dangerous. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Let's test it out. So, banana pudding is one of a kind. This is a, a, like a banana puree. It's got nutmeg, cinnamon, it's got a vanilla extract blend to it. Uh, what we're doing is we're trying to transition between all the palate, your entire palate. Uh, we want you to taste every component of a banana pudding identically to how you know it. So you got that whipped cream flavor. You got to have that graham, graham cracker crust sometimes. You know, it just depends. You got to taste all of it. So, yeah, this is this is so stupid good. If you're looking for a no carb diet, um, <laughs> this is not for you. Uh, it's got all the right carbs that we need. Yeah. That's how I keep my girlish figure. <laughs> yeah. Milk for adults, milk for champions. I want banana cream butter. I want pumpkin pie. I want banana cream. You can expose it. That's so bad. It's just banana cream. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. I lied. I don't have a big one. They're all right. <laughs> it's over there. We got it. I promise. We that. <laughs> yeah. So you put that uh, pineapple in a cocktail. You let it soak, absorb all those flavors. Now you, your one drink is just the only drink you're gonna need. <laughs> Most of the time, it's not just one pineapple chunk. It's more like ten. All right. So. Everything that you're tried is $25 each, except for the 153. It is a $50 charge. Um, the, the 153 is very important because 
<laughs> Once we're done with this batch over here, it's not going to ever be seen again for another 10 years. Uh, so the 153 is a special one. Uh, so as we take over the alcohol industry, you know, you're going to start noticing your, your bars, your, your, your clubs, your restaurants, all of it. They're going to start slowly stopping the vodka cocktail line. And moonshine's rolling in. And you'll start to notice it in your restaurant bar menus. Moonshine cocktails for everybody. So, 20 years, we're going to take over the bars and everything. Um, if you buy three jars, this is where those coupons come to play. The most important, whoever is responsible has those coupons. Um, as I'm not very responsible, so... Yeah. I, I already forgot who I gave it to. So, three jars. Gonna get you your kids a new lunchbox for this 21 year. The principal's level. <laughs> or diaper bag, whatever you're doing. So, three jars, get you a cooler. This is literally the only way you're gonna walk out of our store carrying all these crazy jars. Uh, they bust through the paper bags, so coolers it is. Three jars, get you a small cooler. Six jars, it's gonna get you the blue cooler. One jar is always on the house, you only pay for five of them. This is where the coupons come to play. Two coupons plus the 10% covers the fifth jar. You pay four, get six. Pretty cool, and a cooler. We're gonna wrap it up, put it in the cooler. 12 and a problem. Call it a problem. I'd like to see, this is a case. Uh, two of these cases fit inside this cooler. Uh. Dudes literally cannot stand walking up in Dow and Gatlinburg holding two cases all day long because their wives wanted to move each other. So, I was like, oh. so <laughs> TSA approved. <laughs> 12 jars, 12 steps, 12 problems, 12 knots, whatever you want to look at it, here it is. Uh, 12 jars, you're going to automatically get the rolling cooler, you're going to enjoy it because you don't have to carry all that weight. Two jars are on the house, you pay for 10, that's where your coupons come to play. You can use up to two $5 and a 10% on this deal as well, covers the ninth jar. Alright, so you're all the time breaking. Well. Guys, my name is Brooklyn. This is when we're going to take off our lanyards. Um, if you have anything for me, please leave it on the bar as I'm saving up for some beer and cigarettes for my child. He's turning 13. Uh, it's kind of important here in Tennessee. We just go ahead and get it going. <laughs> we can't stand that I work here. All right.